irrespective of our position irrespective of our age all of us go through problems in life even this morning under the pandal let me tell you some of the problems that you are going through one financial crisis some of you wanted to send your children abroad but because of finance you are not able to send them abroad some of you are standing at the crossroads your heart says this is what you want to do but your, the pressure in the family is making you to change your line some of you your marriage is beginning to shake for some of you, there is an imbalance in your own family. You have seen your mother work hard, but your dad is hitting the bottle. And some of you are growing up not knowing which direction you want to go. And there is a broken relationship within the family. Tonight, this morning, my text will tell us how to face challenges in the year 2019. How do I confidently move into the future? If you have your Bibles, please turn with me to 2 Chronicles chapter 20. Please keep your Bibles open as we study this chapter. His name is Jehoshaphat. I do not know how many of you know the meaning of his name. <coughs> Jehoshaphat means the Lord judges. Of course, I know in your place, you identify people with the name of the clan or the tribe. In the Bible, parents gave the meaning, very meaningfully name, very meaningfully to the children. But these days, names are given according to the rhyme. Once the name is given in J, all the children, the names will start with J. If the child is born in a festival, you name the child Merry Christmas. <laughs> if the child is born during Diwali, the name the child Tapas or Patas. <laughs> Sometimes we don't think why we are giving that name for the child. But in the Bible, the names are given with meaning. Abraham. 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 Sarai. Sarai. Sarah. Sarah. Jacob. Uh, Jacob. His name was changed to Israel. Either God changes your name or he changes your character to fit that name. Uh, 
So his name was Lord Judges. Aruba, ya mandiri bimungara, kedel bicara ke a, anin bahuka. Now Jehoshaphat started off very well. Jehoshaphat, abang cingau nambi hitung kita. He was a young king. Aura, sadambe mandijen. And he was bringing people back to the word. Aruba. And he, and he appointed leaders and told them that they need to be faithful to God. All of a sudden, he faced the challenge. When things are going on smoothly in life, from unexpected corners, we face challenges. And you're taken by surprise. Lord, all these years things were going on well. Without any warning, these things have come into my life. A few months ago, I think it is in the month of December. A young couple from Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh They are serving the Lord in Andhra. They are three children. All of them are in teens. Where in states. They were living with their friends. The parents came to India to do the ministry there. And then they got this news. All the three children died. What a shock. The body came to Andhra Pradesh. Not even one scratch on the body. The children were sleeping in the night. Because of some short circuit, the house got burnt. Because of the smoke, all three of them died of suffocation. I am seeing the father and mother looking at the three bodies. My dear Christians, listen very carefully. Lord, we are in the ministry. These are precious children. Why did you take all my three children one night? This morning you are sitting and saying, Lord, I am not able to face the challenges. Look at the intensity of the challenge that Joseph had faced. Verse 1 After this the Moabites, the Ammonites with some of the Munites came to wage war against Jehoshaphat. All three of them, three enemies joined together to fight one enemy. I do not know if you have gone through this. Sometimes in our life, you find three enemies joined together to fight you. And that is what happened here. Three of them came together and they were moving towards to fight against Jehoshaphat. How did Jehoshaphat handle? 
May I place six things before you? Look at verse 3. The first thing we find, he was alarmed. He was, <coughs> he reacted with fear. The first thing we see is his reaction to the problem. And that is a natural reaction for any person. It is unbelievable why things are happening to him. And people came and told him in verse 2, they are walking towards you to attack you. There was a little girl and she was traveling with her parents in the train and father was the birth, mother was sleeping the other birth, the child was sleeping in the upper birth. The mother told the little girl, Don't have any fear, God is near you. After a little while, the child slowly called in the middle of the night. Daddy, are you there in the birth? Baba. <coughs> Daddy said, yes, dear. The train was moving. After a few minutes, the girl said, Mommy, are you there? Mommy said, yes, dear. I'm also here in the same train. After a few minutes, the girl again said, Daddy, are you there? That disturbed another passenger in the train. In his bass voice, he said, Father is there, Daddy is there, Mother is there, Brother is there, everybody is in the train. And the girl said, Mommy, is that the voice of God? Isn't it true? Lord, where are you? Fear is gripping my heart. Yes, I carry the Bible. I am a preacher of the word. But the challenge is knocking on my doorstep. There was a reaction of fear. Look at the second thing. Verse 12. Look at what he realized. <coughs> he realized that he was powerless and helpless. For we have no power. Because the army is too vast. We do not know what to do. My dear loved ones, that is the place that you and I must start. We are not Spider-Man and Superman. We are people who are dependent on God. Lord, we are powerless. Lord, we are helpless. 
We do not know what to do. The problem with many today. We try to handle things on our own strength. And we make a mess of that entire situation. <laughs> when my daughter was only three years old, we got her a tricycle. And I was studying at the Union Biblical Seminary. She came with her cycle. She said, Dada, please repair. <coughs> and that time it was exam season for us. And I am one of those who study only the day before the exam. So I told her, ask mommy. <laughs> she went, she went to the mother. Said, mommy, please repair. Mama said, I'm cooking. <laughs> she was so angry. She took the cutting player from the toolbox. She took the screwdriver, screwdriver pulled the cycle, went to the corner and was doing something. After 15 minutes, she came back with a cycle seat in one hand and a pedal in one hand. <laughs> Dada, you repair. <laughs> the moral of the story is leave it in the hands of God. He will do a better job than you and me. Look at what Jehoshaphat did. He not only reacted in fear, he not only realized he is powerless and helpless, the third thing he resolved to do something. Look at verse 3. Jehoshaphat resolved to inquire of the Lord and he proclaimed a fast for all Judah. He resolved two, three things in his life. The first thing he inquired of the Lord. Friends, I do not know what it says in your Bible. The word inquire. If you have your pen, underline it over and over again. Here is a king saying, I am not taking the advice from the other people. I am not asking advice from those who are victorious against enemies. Lord, tell me what is it that you want me to do? You have been running from pillar to pillar seeking counsel. And everything has failed in your life. You are coming back. Please look at the Lord and say, Lord, what is it that you want me to do, O Lord? For a king to say, I am powerless, it is humiliating. For a king to say, I am helpless, is humiliating. But very boldly he says, I will inquire of the Lord. In your life and my life, 
Do we inquire of the Lord as a last resort or the priority in our life? I do not know about you. Being a counselor for 37 years. I've been a counselor for 37 years. I've been finding things are changing. Many, many years ago, what the parents will choose for the boy and girl, they get married. Now things have changed. When we were growing up, we tell our parents, this is the girl we love, this is the boy we love, and they get us married. Now, they get married and inform the parents. Things are changing. <coughs> and very often in our Christian life, it's like that. We only inform the Lord, we don't inquire of the Lord. Lord, what is it that you want me to do? Look at the second thing he resolved. He, he not only inquired of the Lord, he also initiated a fast. The calling the people and saying fast. Because we have a challenge, we have a task before us. And he invited the people to seek the Lord. Would you please listen? Please, please look at me. My dear loved ones. Does your family know how to inquire of the Lord? As a head of the family, have I taught my children to cry out to the Lord? My dear mothers, have you taught your children? Ask the Lord. My dear loved ones, my dear young people, have you set a trend to others and seek the Lord? Look at Jehoshaphat. They are coming against him. Yes, there was fear. But he had enough time to inquire of the Lord. And he resolved to inquire, to initiate that fast. His reaction. He realized what to do. Thirdly, he resolved. The fourth thing he recognized. Please look into your Bibles. There are three questions he asked. Verse 6. Are you not? Verse 6. Lord, the God of our ancestors, are you not the God who is in heaven? Look at verse 7. Did you not drive out the inhabitants of this land? Look at the third question. Verse 12. Will you not judge them? 
three questions he asked. Are you not? Did you not? Will you not? These are not questions of arrogance. You know what he is saying? When he says, are you not? He is saying, Lord, are you not powerful? Are you not a sovereign God? Are you not a personal God? Are you not a ruler of the universe? If you are a sovereign and a powerful God, why should I fear? My dear loved ones, when you go through challenges in life, Remember that our God is a sovereign, powerful, and a God who is able to deliver you. My granddaughter is only three years old. Only Shugapa, Pulsika Thompson, my petition. She will walk very confidently upstairs. After she takes the first step on the terrace, she will see there is no light in upstairs. She will look at me and say, you also come. I look at her and say, I am afraid, no light. My granddaughter tells me, Don't be afraid, I will take you. <laughs> you know why she is saying it? Not because she is courageous. Because I am with her and there is nothing to fear. <laughs> and she is telling me, you don't be afraid, I will take you. The only one who can face the challenge with courage and boldness is the Lord who is sovereign and the Lord that you and I worship this morning. Are you not a sovereign God? Look at the second thing that he says. Did you not? Did you not deliver the inhabitants of the land? What is he saying here? Are you, did you not tell us what you are going to do and did you not do it? Lord, you are a promise keeping God. You are a protective God. Friends, let me see this morning. How many of you in this pandal and outside the pandal have experienced the promise of God? Let me see your hands, friends. How many of you received answer to prayer? Friends, look at it, every one of you. So when you face challenges, <laughs> when you go through valley experience, remember, listen to what I'm going to say. Listen to what I'm going to say. Jehoshaphat. Did not believe on the promise of God, but he believed on the God of promise. Let me ask you. How many of you believe if the Lord will tell you tonight, this morning, that you will become 
the Prime Minister of India. Nasimongani, pati nasab yako bibiragan detail na a Indiani Prime Minister of Mansinga ne agano de. How many of you will believe? Nasimongani sa orang bibiragan. Nobody. Tarang pa bibirag Java. So no Prime Minister from Meghalaya. Hindi uman Meghalaya ni the Prime Minister of Java. If the same God tells you, ano ba yung absan isal agano de? I will provide a house for you. Aha, nang na, no ko ang gen ni agano de? How many of you will believe? Nasi mo ni balita sa bibirag gen. Come on, let me see your hands. Sa komiso mat po ay. Wow, listen very carefully. Nami sanchi mana nami kenal mo? To make you a prime minister of India impossible. Anak ko India ni Prime Minister nak nade, ong nam kita nong nama kena. Getting a house is possible. Ande ba nong ko mana nade, ong nama naya. Please listen, my dear friends. Ang ni kasaran, your faith is based on what is possible and what is impossible, but not on the God of all impossibilities. Nasi mang ni bebe raanya ra, maya ong na ama. Arumaya ang na amza unosa. Ande ba? Ang na amgi sarang ko ang na amgo ba? Ispolo de ang zay nga. Lord, this is possible. So I believe you. Okay, tell. Yan ang tama. Hindi ko maan na anak ko bibira. Lord, this is impossible. Even you can't do it. Lord, I can't believe you. Okay, tell. Yan ang ang na amgi sarang ko ang na amgo ba? Listen very carefully to this morning. The God of Jehoshaphat. The Jehoshaphat ni Saul. The God of Daniel. Daniel ni Saul. The God of David. David ni Saul. The God of Peter. Peter ni Saul. Is also my God. Wan ang ni Saul ba ang? He is also your God. Wan na ni Isol ba nga? Don't put the Lord in a box and expect Him to work that way. Isol ko na bakos ng mga chupi at nakitak na na atan si Sonabe. Are you not? Na ang dama. Did you not? Na ang dama. Look at the third question. Katam ko ba sa mga rin mo? Will you not? Na ang dama. Dama. Will you not? Will you not deal with this people, O Lord? Lord, will you not judge them? We are powerless. I am helpless. But you are able to judge them, O Lord. But did you look at verse 10? But now here are men from Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir. Look at the next line. Whose territory you would not allow Israel to invade when they came from Egypt. So they turned away from them and did not destroy them. Aro daon ni bo, esip ni asongani ang katbaon. Israel ko nak ni chanap na ang gizagapa. Aro wamangu ni liyekami, wamangu ni isyap ka parang. Amon ni... Aromuat ni de parang, amon ni aromuat ni arosir ni abrini de pandirang. Joseph at this telling. Joseph at ano yung akin nga? Lord, you told us not to touch these people. Yah, pandirang ko tang tap tabe ni na akin. Now the same people are giving problem to us. De ba? Yah, saan pandirang ang tao na chingnalik na kani ko rabay nga? My dear loved ones. Ani kasarang. God is in total control. So, maybe you are saying at the back of my mind, I wish I would have overcome this when I was young. But there is a time in the kingdom of God. The Lord is not one minute, one second early or late. Are you not? Did you not? Will you not? The man who had a reaction to the challenge. 
The man who realized he was powerless and helpless. The man who resolved to inquire of the Lord. The man who recognized that God is powerful. Look at the next thing, my friends, in verse 15. The man who received answer to prayer. Verse 15. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Because of this vast army. The battle is not yours, it is mine. Wow. wow! Look at what the Lord is saying. Joshaphat, I will not disappoint you. May I say this, my dear young people, I see many of you here. I have traveled the journey. Discouragement, disappointment, doubt, deception can blind your eyes in seeing the powerful God in your life. And you are sitting here even with a mixed emotion. But my Bible says my Lord is a prayer answering God. <coughs> this evening I will also talk about people who chose life and who had no regrets in their life. Now don't look at your Bibles, please look here. I want us to use our mind this morning. The Lord said, It's not your battle, it's my battle. After saying that, He told Jezebeth, all of you take your position. The army is coming against you. If I was Jehoshaphat, I would have told the Lord, if you are fighting, why should I take the position? You first fight and then we will come and celebrate. Why should we waste our time standing? Suppose the enemy attacks us. You know why? If the battle is the Lord's, why is he asking you to take position? <laughs> when you take position, you will see with your eyes what is God is doing against the enemy. My dear friends, I believe in miracle. I am a Methodist pastor. I have seen miracles. And the Lord does it in your life so that you will be a witness to God's mighty power in your life. People of God, you stand and see. I will fight the battle. What a God we have. The problem with us is we are impatient. We don't wait for God to fight the battle. 
Because we look at our watch. We said, Lord, it is getting late. I can see the foot, the noise, Lord, of the foot coming towards in my ears. And then we begin to act. Be still. And know. That I am She died very early. <laughs> leaving behind a small child. The father was very, very grieved that he lost his loving wife. He did not know how to bring up his child. After the funeral was over, Aroba Kopani Amram Achotoa. First time the father and the child are sleeping without the mother. Kangapa Changda Magaba Gri Agapa Aroba Bisa Walutinanaha. Middle of the night. Aro Walzatini Sumayo. The daughter called and said, Debeche Okame Kana Dada Baba. I am afraid, Dada. I'm not kidding, uh, Papa. Dada said, I'm here, Ma. And he was crying. And the girl said, Dada, Papa, turn your face again towards me and sleep, Dada. The father broke down. He wiped his tears. And he looked at the Lord and said, Lord, well, you please turn your face towards me and sleep, Lord. Friends, I'm sharing my heart with you this morning. I have gone through this valley experience. Nothing stays in your mind. Only one thing. Lord, put your face towards my face and sleep, Lord. I have nothing to hold on to. This morning, some of you are making that cry from the depth of your heart. <laughs> the battle that I'm going through, Lord, nobody in my family understands. My, my tears have been exploited by people in Meghalaya in Tura. I am standing here as one who is broken on the inside. But everybody thinks I am a strong person. Lord, I am powerless, I am helpless. Joseph, let your people take the position. He received answer to prayer. And finally, the sixth one, he rejoiced in the victory. Look at verse 22. As they began to sing and praise the Lord, praise the Lord set ambushes against the men. The, 
the Lord set ambushes. Bethel, Una Agadaha. Verse 26. Fort Pogretto. They praise the Lord. Woman, so for the Matilla. Verse 27. Fort Pogretsni. Rejoice over their enemies. Woman, the Pogretsni. Verse 28. Fort Pogretsni. They shouted with harps and lairs and trumpets. Woman, Sangaranko, Arok, Naranko, Serendranko, Rai. The people of God saw the victory of God and began to praise and thank God. Mandarang, the Del Jehovani, Chiariko, Romani, Katomo, Katana, Abajira. They were not just a silent and a mute spectators. A Wamara, Kumanga, the Nagopata, Nigapi, the Wiper Mung Jaha. They lifted their hearts in praise and worship. And when they praised, the people around them saw that the reason for the praise. You know, there was one lady. She's got only these two phrases in prayer. Oh Lord, thank you Jesus. You, if you ask her to pray, only this will come out from her mouth. Oh Lord, thank you Jesus. Oh Lord, thank you Jesus. Every prayer meeting, same prayer. Every prayer meeting, same prayer. So people started teasing her. Even before she could pray, they will tap and say, Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. One day, somebody went and asked her, You don't have any other prayer? Only these two prayers? She said that too is enough. <laughs> they said, tell us why. Listen to what she said. My, my five-year girl, when she leaves the house, in the midst of all the bombing, I pray and said, oh Lord, that's all I pray. When I see her coming back home, I say thank you, Jesus. <laughs> that is all, all about prayer. Lord, you have given me a watch. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> At least one thing you should thank today. You know what? Your picture and my picture is not there in the obituary column. <laughs> but some of us are sitting there as if the picture has already come. <laughs> Lord, thank you, Lord. Lord, you have done this wonder in my life. 2019, Joshavat. You will stand and watch the victory of the Lord. Write down these five things that comes out from this passage. Number one. The law hand over your fears to the Lord. Whatever the fears may be. Two. Enigma. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and not on solutions to overcome. Three. 
Pangbaba, realize who God is. Isolara, sawa, isekrabo. Four, bring ba. Be willing to be part of the miracle in your life. Ayo and manani kami ba ongna naan detello na ong iban na To be willing to be part of the miracle, it requires <laughs> trust and obedience. Arba wa ayo and manani kami ba ongna gda naan bimir ani yaro ka domani ko nga. Five. Ongang ba? Never forget to thank him. Uko matyal na ang naba gualabe. Six. Don't come up. Let your praise be a pointer to others towards Christ. Alangni, dear na ni rangko, dear chibak na song china. Let your praises and thanksgiving point others to Christ. Alangni, dear na biya ni rang, gabal rangko ba? Di ho ba china, buksong at china. Dear Shafat will say this morning. Dear Shafat, ya pringo agana ang yentam. I saw. The Lord fight the battle. The devil ni takrekani ko, takrekani ko ang nakaha. How he did it, I don't know. Wala may kaya ko nakaha ang alin pisa. But I will praise it. Ano ba ang alin ko the battle game? This morning, the prayer of I don't know what you're facing. Na a may ko makang saka ang pisa. No one will ever understand what I'm going through. Um, may lang po chakrong ang darang pa masisak dawa. Let me close with something that happened. Mangsa, obos tali ko man agane masulat nasa. Many years ago, I was pastoring a church. Ruta mo si lang riyang ha ang abondoli kisa upa mong yutum. While I was serving communion. I saw a lady come right from the door and kneel down to take the communion. For the first time, I'm seeing her in my church. I didn't know what to do. I gave the communion. I met her near the door. Aro ang ako, tukasol sa pao sa panubrong a. I said, Madam, welcome to our church. Aro ba ang ako? Tni, kailangan na nakurub sa kuswa niya. Looks like you are coming here for the first time. Nakni, kung kung matang na ribani yung kama. Can I have your address? Aro nakni, address ko kung kana magenta. She gave her address. Aro ba ang nani address ko na? Monday, I went to the house. Aro sumbaro ang ako brong na yung a. The house was locked. Tuesday I went. The house was locked. Wednesday I went. House was locked. I became little inquisitive. I asked the security next door. I said, where are these people? He said, don't ask me any questions. I became more suspicious. Ya, ngani ko ang mas nabe ang ane ang kaya yung tay chanchit na aska. I decided I would change the time and go. Ano yung man ang sumoy ko din tanga tay ni ang gan ni chanchit. Morning seven thirty I went. Friends ni ata ba yung mga yanga? The lady opened the door. Aro ang duka ko waha. She said, "Come in." Ano ba mo ni waga na? When I entered the house, aro ang gan sa lunok ng china panga. There was such a huge idol. Ah, nang anci. I was very disturbed. The first question she looked at me and asked. She said, Pastor, you thought I was a Hindu? I just smiled. She said, Pastor, I'm a believer. I married a TV producer, a film producer. Anga film producer ko biya ka ha. But I pray, I'm praying that he will change. Ah, anga na biya ha, ro biya ha, kwa de kanga ni ko magda. Jesus, come up and see my prayer room. Ibay ang ni biram biya ko ni buo niya kana. She got a Bible open in the prayer room. Aro ko ni biram drengo, Bible ko utaki dona dona. And this is what she said. Aro yaku ba kana? Pastor, among I do not know how to tell you. Ang anak na 
Every month, give me a call. We will pray through this. Every month, she'll call. She called and said, Pastor, I delivered a girl baby. May I say this this morning? Don't judge people looking at the face. There is something inside that brings out the tears on the outside. The God of Jehoshaphat is your God and my God. All that you need to do is to let go and allow him to handle it. Friends, listen to what I'm saying now. I'm going to pray. Solo <coughs> begin. This is not an altar call. But if you are saved, right now I am facing a challenge. I am powerless and helpless. Yang semua cacau. I tried everything that I could. My skill, my smartness, everything is gone. I don't want to waste any more of my time and life. But this morning, O oh Lord, I just want to hand it over to you. If that is your desire this morning, and if you are saying, I need that prayer, wherever you are, would you please stand so that we can pray together. Those who are saying, that challenge that I am facing, Lord, only you know, I just want to hand it over to you. Shall we pray? And if you're standing along with me, stand wherever you are and we can pray together. Yes, remain standing. Nobody else need to know what I'm going through. Lord, my heart is breaking this morning. Me to me. Are there any more? Many of you are standing, keep standing. Only the Lord can answer. Young people, what are your challenges? Just give it into the hands of God. Your marriage, your career, your future, I don't know. Don't be afraid to cry, just cry in the presence of God. Our gracious Lord, our loving Father, 
To whom else will we go, O Lord, this morning? We have come to the place where we cannot go anywhere else. Lord, to you we are saying, Lord, we are powerless and helpless. But Lord, we are not hopeless because we have hope in you. Lord, meet with me. Meet with everyone who is standing this morning, O Lord. Some of us are unable to even say it out because our hearts are heavy. Lord, wipe our tears. Lighten our Lord. Lord, we will take positions and see what you are doing, Lord. Lord, thank you that you are a God who is sovereign. A Lord who is powerful. A Lord who is prayer answering. A Lord who is very personal. Thank you Lord for taking our challenges. Thank you, Lord, for answering. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.